Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. Today is Monday morning. I love the start of a brand new week. I want to show you every single thing I am eating today and also all my workouts today that I kind of get up to, how I get movement into my life. I have lost 60 pounds over the last few years following the starch solution and using the principles of calorie density of course. Massive portions of delicious food every single day and right now I'm in the midst of my fitness part of my journey. Um, I'm really trying to get fit and get toned. It was a very very busy weekend. We were on the go all the time. We went down to Doncaster, which was crazy. I did bring loads of food on the go. We had massive sushi yesterday on the go and I had loads and loads of fruit, like a ton of fruit as well. Um, but yeah, I just um, took a little time to be with my family this weekend, but I'm back on it this morning um, and I am going to start the morning. I've just dropped the kids off at school and nursery and I was trying to figure out what the hell to do with myself. You know that Monday morning feeling when you're just like, there's so much stuff to catch up on. Where do you even start? But I was like, no, Let's do my workout. I was going to wake up at 5.30, but James fell asleep on the couch downstairs and I can't leave Romy by herself up there. So I ended up not doing it this morning, but that's okay. I'm going to do it now. So anyway, let's get in. I'm going to do a bouncing workout. Not quite sure what yet. I think I'm going to go for some kind of arm situation. So I'm going to see if I can find a good bouncing arm reboundy workout. Let's see what we find. I hope you guys have had a lovely weekend wherever you are and uh, let me know what you've been up to. I actually did the most incredible rebound session yesterday. It was, a, it, was, it was like a crazy hit one. But then Abe came down and he joined me and he wanted to do a little rebound workout of his own, which was so cute. And he was copying all the moves and it was just adorable. And then also we went out for a, for a lovely run together as well. So we went running in the forest, his request. It was just so lovely. I love that he's starting to be my little buddy in this. And I just find that so darn cute. So I've just spent the last 20 minutes on the phone to my mum and while I did that my rebounder is so quiet now that I just bounced and I was doing like legs in the air and stuff just whilst I was chatting on the phone. I mean I was a little out of breath but that's a great use of time if you guys are on the phone. Try and get some movement in that is the perfect time because your head is somewhere else you're not even thinking about what you're doing and that's going to be my new favourite thing. On the phone get on me rebounder. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this 20 minute arm rebounding workout and then afterwards I might do this fat burning hit arm and uh, sculpt and core workout. So that's kind of my plan for the day. Hi everyone, Renee. Let's just go ahead. Try it. Stop bending your knees. That arm workout was the hardest arm workout I have ever done in my life. My arms were screaming at me. If you want to murder your arms, go and check out that workout right now. Oh my God. Never done anything quite like that before. <clears throat> that was incredible. My triceps are burning everywhere is burning. <clears throat> I would love to do that every single day to get that burn going. Face up versus just pushing the foot forward. Boxing and I'm reaching. Okay, now that my workout is done, it was such a good workout. However, it's quarter to 11. I was having so much fun. I could literally bounce for ages. I had to just stop myself from bouncing and be like, okay, come on, Amy, I've got other stuff to do. So I've got a few more little recipes that I want to make for my Indian book. And then all the recipes are done. And then it's just a matter of compiling it and stuff. So that's very exciting. But I am going to be sad to not be like making these recipes on a regular basis. I guess I can always make them obviously. This morning is a very simple recipe. It is how to spice up a somewhat potentially boring fruit salad. It is a fruit salad chat masala situation. It is combining sweet and savory and the flavors will blow your mind. So anyway, I have got a ton of fruit. It's fantastic that I need to make this because I fancied starting with a ton of fruit anyway. I have got an apple, a mango, an orange, a pear. I've even got some pomegranates because that's what you would naturally have in there. Okay, everything has been chopped up and this looks like an incredible fruit salad, but we're going to, uh, we're going to add some crazy stuff to it now. Okay, so we're going to start with some chat masala. Now we're going to go in, I'm going to measure this out because I don't want to do too much. So it's, we're going to go in with like half a teaspoon of chat masala, just sprinkled on the top here. There we go. And then we're going in with a quarter teaspoon of black salt. This does sound like a crazy combination, but you know what? It is going to work. And also, 
a quarter teaspoon of cumin powder as well. Oh, we need lemon juice. Two teaspoons of lemon juice, kind of. There we go. Okie dokie, guys. Now we're going to get into this baby. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so excited because I am. I am super hungry, guys. Oh, honestly, it sounds like the maddest combination in the world, but that hits the spot. Oh my God, if you like sweet and salty popcorn. Mm. Literally the most exciting fruit salad I've ever had. Sometimes it's amazing how something so small, like adding like a quarter teaspoon of those three things can drastically change the way you feel about something. Oh my God, right. You guys have to try this. I'm gonna go and enjoy this whilst I do a little bit of work and then I'll see you for lunch. I'm thinking, I've, I've got leftover rice, so I think I could do something with rice, but I also was thinking, um, I was, I've got some, uh, loads of veggies, and I was thinking a Korean pancake could be quite fun. Mm. Let's see. literally just sat down at my desk to do some work and I got a call from the school to say that Abe has um, banged into somebody and he's bust his nose and he's bleeding everywhere so I'm gonna go and go and pick him up and give him a cuddle and see if he wants to come home with me poor little thing it's so horrible when your babies get hurt isn't it so Abe is back from school and he had a massive bloody nose poor little thing so I brought him home and he's just chilling and then we're just gonna have a nice little time together before we need to go and get Ronnie in an hour uh, but for breakfast I wanted to make something a little bit different I saw somebody doing some three ingredient chocolate brownies and I was like yes that sounds amazing so that is what we're going to be making oh, these bananas are so ripe <gasps> we're gonna freeze loads of them for ice cream yeah so these brownies require three ripe bananas half a cup of peanut butter but i'm going to be using pb2 here and then half a cup of cocoa powder and you just kind of mix that in smudge it all together whack it in the oven and then we're going to see what happens so super super simple um i'm kind of excited to try this and i'm going to be having this with i'm not quite sure some veggies or some fruit or something but i also Mom, thought anyway i'm going to film this over for instagram and i'll show you what they look like in a bit so abe's just helped me film this recipe abe what do you think of it babes is it, is it pretty good abe's gone a little bit crazy for the mixture it is so utterly delicious, it's ridiculous. Anyway, the brownies need to be in there for like 20 minutes now, and then we get to see what they're like. But oh my gosh, three ingredient chalky brownies. Um, just so excited, so excited. Now I need to make some vegetables to accompany my brownie mix. So for breakfast, I decided actually, I'm gonna have some sweet potato toast with like a salsa and like a cucumber salad on the side. That's what I thought would be good. I'm also in the process of cooking up a massive courgette soup as well, which I've got on the boil. So I'll have that as like a pre-starter because I fancy something warm and snuggly. Then some sweet potato toast. So I'm just gonna whack these in the oven um, and crisp them up for a little bit. Then I'm just gonna whip up a little quick salsa. I've got a couple of tomatoes and I don't have any coriander, but I do have parsley. So that's gonna kind of do with a little squeeze of lime. Let's do it. garlic salt, lemon juice. I did actually find a little bit of coriander for this um, salsa, so I've just whacked that in. But now I've realized I've got loads of parsley to use up. And I thought what I would do is I used to make a parsley salad um, that is to die for. And I thought, why not just make it now as well? So I'm gonna um, stick this in the food processor real, real quick, and I'm gonna blitz it up. Um, with a little bit of tahini, some garlic and some lemon. And actually it is so delicious. Okay, in with the parsley, a little bit of lemon juice. Of my favorite tahini. Is it your favorite too? Garlic salt. There you go. Pasty salad. So good for you. It is so good for you. Mm. And it's actually just so good. So good for you. Mm -mm -mm. So good for you. It is sweet pea. We've now got Romy as well. And I still haven't had like a proper meal apart from the chat masala. So um, I, I'm hungry. My sweet potatoes in the air fryer, they're cooking. And... Um, 
because I'm starving, I'm going to start with a massive bowl of soup, but I also need to feed Romy, so I'm going to do it in a mug so I can, like, pick it up. There we go. One nice, gigantic mug of soup. Mmm. I made it, like, extra watery as well, so it's kind of like a drink, but it's kind of like a soup. It's kind of like a mix. Mmm. Obviously, the more um, water and hydration you add into things, the lower the calorie density is. Not that I'm trying to lower the calorie density of, um, of soup. I'm just kind of mentioning it, really. Romy is finally down for a nap. She was absolutely knackered. But I'll tell you what, this soup in a cup is actually going to be my new favourite thing. It is just like, it's almost like having a warm, snuggly drink. Mm. I used to be a mega, mega tea person months ago, and then I realized it wasn't making me feel my best, and I was feeling really dehydrated all the time. Um, and so I was wondering what I was gonna do this winter regarding warm drinks. And I think soup in a cup is gonna be where it's at. I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner next time and have it like a dr proper drinkable thing. Um, but yeah, like just pff, so, so yummy. You get in your veggies and you feel snuggly at the same time. Mm. I'm gonna come up with a ton of different soupy cup recipes let me know if you're interested or whether it just sounds crazy i also wanted to show you guys this which is our brownie mix from earlier it is feeling super super nice i'm very much had it in the fridge for a little while i'm going to slice this baby up and because the first part of my day was very well i've only had fruit and then soup um so basically i'm wanting to like oh, really go for it so i've got some sweet potato toast on the go. Um, I've got my parsley salad, I've got my tomatoes, but also I'm gonna do a little bit of brownie in there as well, just to like, just to really keep me nice and satisfied. Okay, my sweet potato came out of the air fryer and I've just loaded it with the salsa stuff. I'm gonna have my, my parsley salad on the side and a couple of little squares. Oh, hold on, there's juices, there's juices. And a couple of little squares of this chocolate brownie stuff guys this brownie is pretty tasty so it's very like fudgy mm. it's super fudgy oh wow that's actually so good that's ridiculous oh my god yum 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 anyway this is kind of lunch i guess mm. i'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this and then i'm gonna play with abe for a bit to play some games and then um i don't know where the rest of the day is going to take me to be honest because i wasn't expected to be bombarded with babies so soon anyway we we do what we do so i brought the kids out to the forest for a bit before we head to taekwondo yes an airplane and they really want to pick some apples we have like half an hour to get home but i thought we'll leg it to the apple picking orchard go grab some apples and see if we can make it home and i'm using it as a great excuse to get some more movement in and to tire my babies out so let's do it oh we've made it to the apple spot it was so fun running with romy on my back abe thought it was hilarious romy thought it was brilliant and now we're going to do a quick little bit of apple picking and they all taste so different so we're going to have a little bit from each tree and see what we like romy are you going to get one what have you got? Oh my gosh, that one's got a baby on it. Oh wow, have a little taste, see if it's good. Oh, it's good. Mm, oh, that is good. Can we have a taste? Mmm. That's yum. Can you have a taste, Laura? Yeah. Do you want to pick another one for it? Yeah. She's so funny. Okay, so we managed to get so many good apples and actually Abe brought his foxy bag and he carried all the apple back all the apples back himself and i'll show you what we managed to get and move that out of the way oh my gosh the, the thing is there's nobody oh my god look at that one there is nobody else eating these apples and they're just falling onto the floor um and just going to waste so oh wow look at all of these apples yes oh look we've got some tiny ones these are super cute and then we've got gigantic ones, didn't we, guys? Hey, would you like to count? Would you like to count how many apples we've got? Much bigger than my nose. romy has got this apple, and she's refusing to let go of it. Is that a yummy apple, Rom Rom? She's been nibbling on it for the last like half an hour. But my thoughts with these apples is, I wanted to make an apple pie. Now I was debating whether to make a cooked apple pie or a raw hey, apple me. pie. We could do a cooked so and a raw us, apple pie. That's a great so idea. Us to eat yeah. The cook one yeah. grandma and granddad to eat the raw one. You might even love the raw one best. 
Okay, we're going to do an apple pie mission. We're going to do a cooked and raw apple pie. I might make it tomorrow and film it as a separate video. So let me know if you guys are excited for a bit of apple pie because everyone should probably be having a ton of apples at the moment that they need to use up and an apple pie would be a fantastic way to do it. I made the kids some banana ice cream for breakfast, chalky um, banana ice cream. And then I froze, I know, and I froze the rest. Okay, a quick little chalky ice cream snack. Then we're gonna go to Taekwondo. When we come back, we are gonna be doing some pea pesto pasta, which will be delicious. Look at those little munchkins. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> let's go babies let's go we are back from taekwondo and it's time to make some dinner so i'm going to do some pea pesto pasta really quickly whilst we were there james and Romy nipped to the shop to buy some basil i've got my peas i'm just going to defrost them in the microwave put some pasta on and i'm going to also have my leftover soup here i'm going to add loads of extra water and have it as like another soupy drink because that was just so so good um, I really loved having that. And that's just a great little preloaded before you have a meal. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's get cracking and I'll show you how to make this pesto. I'm gonna do quite a lot of peas because I wanted to have some extra pesto for tomorrow because I thought I might do, I thought I might do some potato toast and then top it with some pea pesto. I thought that'd be quite nice for tomorrow, like a quick brunch or something. So I'm gonna do loads and loads of pesto. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about in terms of texture. That is going to be so, so good. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so for this pesto, I've got three bags of basil. We're going to whack them in. Would you, you like to whack it in? Okay, you can whack it in. Pop it all in. Oh, clever girl. In. Oh, pop it in, baby girl. Oh, clever brother. Okay, we've got all of our peas. I'm gonna assume this is about between three and four cups of peas. Now, Roms, that's really hot. You wanna be careful with that little pup. Yeah. And then we're going in with all the usual suspects we're going in with nutritional yeast, like mm, half a cup of nutritional yeast, let's say. Good job, good job. I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of hemp seeds um, just to get some nice omegas into everybody. This is a gigantic batch and it's going to last us a couple of days. I'm going to go in with about four tablespoons of hemp seeds. You could either go in with garlic and salt or you could be lazy and cheeky and go in with garlic salt. Do some soy milk as well. You can do the finally. Wee! on, Roms. Woo! There you go. Pea pesto pasta. If, if I had... That's a very clever girl. If I had some spinach, I would add a ton of spinach in here to add up the nutrients and all that goodness, but I do not, so that's okay. You like it, Rob? pasta is actually so delicious the kids were just eating it with a spoon and they are very very happily tucking in to their dinner anyway i'm going to do mine but i'm also going to do a lovely salad on the side i'm going to do some leafies and some tomato and I'll okay so for my salad i'm going to throw a quick little dressing together i'm going in with some tahini tablespoon lemon juice Got some leftover grated garlic from the other day, so I'm just gonna add that in. It's always nice to have a bit of fresh garlic when I'm not feeling too lazy. Also gonna add in a little bit of soy sauce. Okay, here we go, gigantic pastry feast. I've got like maybe two cups of pasta in here. I've got a ton, a full thing of lettuce and tomato, my dressing, and this pasta is a very, very good. And what I'm kind of gonna do is just basically mix it all together so that it feels like I've got a gigantic bowl of pasta. Mm. So, so yummy. Mm. This is a great way to get peas into your family if they're not a fan of peas. Like Abe said, he doesn't like peas, but he loves this. I'm gonna go enjoy this. And this will probably be it for today, to be honest. Because it's an absolute madhouse in here tonight. 
Oh, oh my God, the kids are so crazy and therefore I've not been able to eat peacefully. I felt so like ooh, on edge and stressed whilst I was eating, which is really, really hard to then honor your hunger fullness cues. <laughs> um, so after I finished food, I was like, oh, I still feel hungry. But what I did is I gave myself a 10 minute break and now I've realized I'm actually not hungry. I needed my food to just kind of settle and kind of go down and process itself. Anyway, it's a good thing to learn sometimes is that if you think you're hungry after a meal, you might not be. Give yourself a little break. And then if you are, obviously have some more food, but if you're not, then, then you know. But anyway, it's a mental house. I need to go and bathe my kids and get them off to bed because they are knackered.